Hello guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Taiwo and I am a data scientist. So this week I found myself in need of um, generating a random number to complete a particular task at work and um, Microsoft Excel random number generator formula came to my rescue. I'm going to show you one of those um, random number generator in Excel called rand array. So I want to believe you know how to call your function, uh, your formula in Excel simply start by uh, you know so like I said you simply touch uh, or tap the equal sign and then you start typing uh, the function you want to call so in this case I'm just going to type rand and then you see um, about three options came up so uh, for this video I'm showing you how you can use the rand array which you can use to generate um, you know like uh, random numbers like a table an array of random numbers um, double click on that and then it's going to ask you for some parameters it's going to ask you how many rows you want so I would say let me say I want uh, 30 rows comma it's going to ask you how many columns um, let me say I just want like seven columns okay after that's going to ask you what's the minimum number you want to see in that in the, in those random numbers uh, let me see I want to see two and then it's going to ask you the mask and let's say I want to see 100 or let me see I want to see 300 as a maximum number or the highest number I want to see then the last option uh, the last um, argument is that do you want a decimal number or you want integer so this cho the choice is really yours if you want decimal number you say you, you, you can say false if you want integer you can say true um, let me just say true for this video no, you know, and then you tab. You can tab or you know close the bracket and punch and enter. Just gonna tab, and then as you can see, you know, it gave me a bunch of random numbers and actually made a table for me. So if you want, you can, you know, you give each column a name. You know, just have a you know a column header. You know, for your for your new table. Uh, but there's one more uh, catch because if you make any changes to or if you make any change to this uh, spreadsheet, the numbers might change from time to time and I don't want that to happen uh, what I can do is to like copy this uh, this table and then I can uh, within the same range or anywhere you want you can just paste just the values so if there's any change you made to this uh, spreadsheet it won't affect th th those number won't change those number will stay um, static and that's it so you can give it a try and let me know what you think all right thank you